Experience. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Big Sterling Experience. Yes. Big Sterling presents partners with Unlocked Mission, uniting communities through music and music education. <laughs> Unlocked Mission partners with the performance ship Joyful Noise, visiting communities along the Mississippi River to entertain and educate musicians of all ages and abilities. Online at unlockedmission.com. All right, let's take it away, Big Sterling. Thank you, Matt, very much. Thank you for your inspirational message between uh, between commercials. That was a lovely thing to say. They know, the radio important. audience didn't hear. It was important information, biologically important. It certainly was. Radio audience, don't be unnerved here. It was all very impressive. <laughs> let's get some uh, let's get some information out. I'm going to start. Uh, if you want to hear past shows on the Mick Sterling Experience, go to themixsterlingexperience.com and you can hear some of the past shows on the website. Monique, where can people find your music right now? You can find me on any music streaming platform, so Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music. You can find my website at moniquesmaz.com and I am on all the social media platforms as well, so Instagram and Facebook and all that good stuff at Monique Smaz. And touch tunes, yeah, you can officially find me on touch tunes, guys. You can officially find any touch tunes in the United States, so go to the bar. Go to that's the bar. A, that's, a, that's a really a huge thing, isn't it? it I mean, yes. really just a, a, a fantastic um, accessory to, to hear your music. Absolutely, no, I'm, I'm so grateful for, for that opportunity. I mean, it's it's cool, it's cool for all of us. It's cool for my friends and family to go to some of our you know, local watering holes and, and hear my song on the speakers. I mean, it's it's kind of an unreal experience. So it's, uh, yeah, it's been cool. There's a great, uh, you, you know John Mulaney? Comedian John Mulaney? He does a great bit of, he went into some restaurant, the old jukeboxes, and, and he, him and his friends did a prank on the restaurant where they they played Tom Jones, it's not unusual, like 16 times in a row just to see if people would get mad, how mad they'd get. And then after the 16th time, it changed into, what's new pussycat? And then it went back to, it's not unusual, and the whole restaurant's like exploding in anger. That's not gonna happen when touch tunes. Well, feel free, feel free to play Let Me In over and over and over. There we go. <laughs> and then, and whatever you guys gotta yes, there do. There we go. That's it. Let's talk, let's talk about your your songwriting uh, method, because I think that that's such a unique thing for every songwriter. When I wrote songs, I would I would write from five in the morning till seven in the morning. That that's when I I woke up. I would write if I had a project that I wanted to get done. How was your process? When when does it when does it happen? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, so I spend about half my time in Nashville, Tennessee, right now, and half my time here in St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, so songwriting looks a little bit differently when you're doing it alone, which I often do here in Minnesota, and versus when you do it with kind of a bigger group, or you know, typically two to three other people are in the room uh, down in Nashville. So, yeah, like you kind of said, in, in Nashville you schedule out more of a, of a four-hour time slot where you get together and you know that you're going to walk in this room with an idea and you're going to leave with a song. Here, when I do it and I do it alone, it's a little bit more like if I get something, I'll grab that guitar and I'll, I'll try and make something more of it. But I'm not. You know, when you're working alone, I'm not really as, you know, on the book and, and by the time and stuff like that. I'm more just when it comes, it comes, and oh, I pray to God it comes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's, it's a little different depending on where I am. But um, Let Me In, I wrote up here in Minnesota with a dear friend of mine, Colin Johnson. He's a fabulous guitar player, and I kind of had that idea before a show, and I just taped it as, as honestly show promo, and was like, hey, you know, here's a little bit of a new tune, come out to, to this bar I'm playing tonight and um, some people were like why I really dig that song so I had to go back and, and kind of plot and plan and, and finish that out so things like that will happen where all of a sudden you have half of a song and everybody's waiting for the other half and you're like oh shit all right I'm gonna figure this out I don't know that, so, that lyric you know I don't love you yes is a really powerful lyric like you just don't hear that that um, flat statement it's huge. You you know I don't love you, but you should let me in. You know that's a really that's a that's a bold stance 
You know, I haven't really heard that that stated in that plain of a way. And sometimes, I think you know, the, the less words you can say, the more powerful the lyric Absolutely. actually is. Which I think that that's a. And as a young songwriter, most young songwriters go on too much, blah, 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 and they don't get to the point. That's that line is very interesting to me. That's a huge line with very little syllables, but Thank they're you. powerful. It's yeah, interesting. I mean, it's not anything we all haven't thought, right? Yeah, now. but it hasn't been said in a song that plainly to me. I think that's that's interesting. That really that really struck me. Talk about the people going to Nashville, the mystique of Nashville. Once you're in Nashville, yeah, I mean it's different. Does the mystique go, or does it? You just what is it about that town that is obviously it's a music city, music town? But talk about the inside of when you're actually there. How's that feel? Yeah, Nashville is a it's a it's a different beast. I will tell you that right here, right now, it is it's tough. It is just as hard as everybody says it is. But I'm a I'm a big believer that the cream will rise to the top and the best will still be seen and be noticed and things like that. I think people get very nervous um, when I say Nashville that that you know you're going to get lost along the way because yeah. there is Nashville is huge and there's so much talent there in all aspects of that word. And I feel like people not so in the music industry forget that it's an industry because it takes more than just a songwriter or more than just, you know, the performer themselves. There's a lot of people and work and things that have to be done on the back end. Um, and all of that back end lives in Nashville now. So, you know, yes and no to answer your question. I feel like the mystique does still still exist. Even when I go down, I'm still kind of a newbie in the town. So it still is all the fun and exciting things that, that you think of Nashville as. Um, but I also do think I've, I've kind of found my way there. And once you find good people, um, people you trust, people who really believe in you, I think that it's easy to succeed really anywhere. That's, that's a huge component to success is, it has nothing to do with me, but so much to do with you guys. Um, and having people like you in, in all the places that I travel, in all the places I play, in all the places I choose to maybe live along the way or make music along the way. So, um, yeah, but Nashville Nashville's definitely a, a, a tough beast down there, for sure. Do you prefer to perform alone, duo, trio, or full band? What's, what's your uh, preference? Lately, I've been loving the full band thing I have. I just had a big full band show at uh, the Turf Club in St. Paul. I just came out with a new song on the 23rd, so this last Friday, and we did a big single release show the night before to kind of celebrate and get everybody in gear to start listening to the tune. Um, and I had my full band for that. So I think it also depends on, on the show. I mean, you know that, you know, better than, than anybody. Yeah. You know, some, some of these venues are much more accommodating to kind of that listening room experience, and some are looking for a full 10-piece band to, to blow the roof off that place. So yeah. I think it depends on the venue. It depends on, on the crowd. Why am I there? Am I there to tell stories, or am I there to just, you know, sing songs and, and, and tell stories that way? Um, but yeah, I do a little bit of duo stuff. I do some trio stuff. I do full band stuff. So wherever you do find me, it'll you'll you'll sometimes see some people on stage with me. Sometimes it's just me that's that's telling stories and talking to you guys. So yeah, but lately I've been really liking the full band thing. I want to get to the next song after after the this next segment because I, I want to hear the new. Can you do the new song? Yeah, yeah. This is wonderful. That, that's great. I. There's a lot going on in your career right now. There's a lot of people that have opinions. Yeah. And. When you hear opinions, do you want opinions? I listen to my mom. <laughs> yeah, I, I still do the mom. I pull the mom phone call card. No, I, uh, I do love to hear opinions because I think that, you know, sometimes it's easy when you hear the song over and over again to think it is the best song ever or to think it's the worst one. So I think sometimes it is good to have some outside opinions, but I think you need to create your own boundaries for what is too far and what's not far enough as far as opinions go. And at the end of the day, you absolutely have to trust yourself. You can have a million opinions in the room, but at the end of the day, you have to make that decision or you need to put out that song or you need to go to that show and perform it. So um, trust yourself, but, but do it with a listening ear, I would say. Mm -hmm. Talk about your band dynamics when you have the band with you. Who is the leader of the band? Is it you, or is it uh, like a musical director that the band follows and everybody knows it's you? Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm my own band's MD, uh, musical director. Okay. So I I get out all the charts and I make those set lists and and I kind of call some of those shots. Um, so right now me, but 
Everybody plays a very crucial role in the full band shows. I mean, kind of going back to opinions and things like that, having those rehearsals and hearing things from the band that is still experiencing the show in the same sense that I am from the stage. Hearing some of the critiques that they might have or new ideas or songs, set lists or whatever that may be is very important. But yeah, as of right now, I, I, I am the MD of my band. Yeah. I, I received some great advice a long, long time ago from a, a guy that was managing me. And, and I was new, I, was, I wasn't the leader of the band. I would, they hired me to, but I was the front person. And I, I would defer to the leader of the band for everything. And then he finally goes, the audience thinks you're the leader of the band. Don't, I mean, there's no way the audience would know that the bass player is the leader of the band. Don't, they're not gonna look that deeply. The front person is the leader of the band, whether it's true or not. And being the front person, you, you obviously feel comfortable. Comfortable being feel the front yeah. person. Yeah, it comes Absolutely. across. Yeah. yeah, we're in good hands, folks. We're in very good hands, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have a lot more. Monique Smiles, ladies and gentlemen, on the next film experience. experience has hit the airwaves. I don't know what's going to be said, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know it's going to be real, and I know it's going to be organic, and I know it's going to move you. Joe Flip, on the Mixed Sterling Experience. Ladies and gentlemen, Kate Fiero. Scotty Miller, Sierra Lee's Hill. You can hear a new episode of the Mixed Sterling Experience each week. Join us right here on this station, and we hope to see you then.